الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد why do we focus on tawhid so much why is that the the creed of ahl sunnati wal jamaa and the minhaj and methodology of ahl sunnah to focus on tawhid to focus on creed we often ask ourselves that and many other groups they ask why is ahl sunnah always focusing on those things But we have to look at the ayat two ayats that i want to share amongst the many and the first is that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa illa li'abudun that i've not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me and the other verse is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-karim inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushrika bihi wa yaghfiru ma duna dhalika liman yasha Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives that forgives all sins except that you associate partners with him is the rough meaning of the ayat letting us know to calling to tawhid and avoiding shirk is the greatest of the greatest importance to the mu'min to the believer because this is what shirk will help will land you in the hellfire forever and tawhid will protect you from the hellfire and get you out of the hellfire if you have to spend time in the hellfire wa iyad billah min dhalika tawhid you were created for as we mentioned in the first ayat and all throughout the quran allah orders us with worshiping him and him alone wa abudullah wa la tushriku bi shay'in and worship allah do not associate partners with him so there allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is affirming for us what ibada he bad to who to him alone worshiping allah alone and then he's prohibiting us in the same verse in the same verse that we just mentioned will i touch you with shay and do not associate partners with him so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us that's ithbat wa nafi ithbat meaning that allah affirmed for us tawhid wa nafi meaning to negate allah negated for us shirk what did the anbiya what did all the prophets alayhi after salatu salam call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem wa laqad ba'athna fi kulli ummatin rasulan an ya'budu Allah wa yajtanibu ta'gud Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem that we sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid those things worship beside him subhana hey man hi so god so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again affirm for us tawhid that the nba all the ain't uh, all the uh all the prophets alayhim afdal salatu wassalam were sent to their nations to call to worship Allah alone in ni'budullah which tanibu ta'gut and stay away from those things worship besides Allah all the ta'gut regardless of whether it was a government regardless of whether it was a uh, an idol a statue and anything else worship besides Allah or a prophet or an angel worship Allah subhana wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad